Okay guys, it's time to head inside the Dollar General to see if we could find any DVDs and Blu-rays. Okay guys, here we are at the Dollar General for another Blu-ray and DVD window shopping video. So let's see what is going on here. And uh, the first thing I see is the get on up, get on up. James Brown for $4.95. Um, the James Brown story, yes, uh, I haven't seen this movie, but you know, I love uh, the, the Godfather of Soul, the hardest working man in showbiz. So uh, for $4.95, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Uh, remember guys, when it comes to these uh, dollar stores, the, the digital code might be expired. Always hit up the email, the customer service email on the slip and get you another digital code. Um, I know you guys m might be physical media enthusiasts, but I'm a also a digital code enthusiast. I want all my movies everywhere, okay? Now, I saw also this um, Bam Margera Presents Where the Bleep is Santa for $3.95, okay? Starring Bam Margera of uh, MTV's Jackass. Actually, um, met him and interviewed him like 10 years ago. Seemed like an okay guy. He seems like he has a lot of personal demons, and you know, don't we all? So, you know, there, there's there's that. This was like popping out at my eye too. This uh, Detective Pikachu with a slip cover here, eight dollars. You know, a lot of this stuff is overpriced here. But like I say, sometimes you have to spend a little to get what you want. And this is just a very nice slip cover here. Never seen the movie, Pika Pika, but there's that. Okay, this was a, a grabbing my eye too. A Coco, you see a look look here at a disc only included. It says there, so you you might not get a, a slip, a digital slip in there. Also, nine ninety five previously viewed. Now this is pretty overpriced, but also it's it's a Blu ray. It's it's Coco. It's Disney. So I don't know. And look right beside it is the Lego Ninja Go movie for four ninety five. That seems a little better. And it's not previously viewed or anything. But look, previously viewed Mulan Disney nine ninety five. So that's like a little overpriced. I guess they don't have a deal with Disney. Um, but look at this, very overpriced. The Craft Legacy for $13. And I've uh, never seen it. Look at this, the, the blues seem to be uh, faring better over here. It should say Blu-rays, you know, $4.95 and up because that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Uh, Sands, Sands Disney. I was seeing a Scooby-Doo for kid favorites movie collection. Scooby-Doo and the Legend of the Vampire, Legend of the Phantasaur, the Samurai Sword, and then some mummy adventure. Where's my mummy? Going for $10 for four Scooby-Doo movies right there. Okay, another one of these cool slip covers here is uh, Ready Player One. And this is only $5, so, um, you know, a, a little bit of an older movie, I think, than that Detective Pikachu. Kind of a cool little slip here. The Iconic Moments uh, collection. And look at this, a triple feature of Friday, next Friday and Friday after next DVD for $5. You know, the, the classic, well, the first one's a classic. I don't know about the other two. Um, the first one's good, you know, um, Smokey and then um, by Felicia, all that good stuff. And um, you better put some water in that shit. That's probably my favorite part of the movie. You know, you just put a little water in it. So, it, you know, it tastes the same. And then next Friday with like the Cholos. And then Friday after next is like the Christmas one. So, yeah, definitely the first one is good. And I like that New Line Platinum Series Snapper Case DVD. You know, that's what I'm into. But here's a triple feature going for $5. Okay, uh, I was seeing this. This caught my eye here. Jim Henson's Panana, Pananimals, Pajanimals, Playdate. All right, two ninety five DVD here. This is, you know, just reminded me of the Muppets or Fraggle Rock. Uh, I'm a Muppet baby. You know, the original Muppet babies. That's, that's my jam right there. I know people like Fraggle Rock, and I could appreciate Fraggle Rock. But, um, you know, I was... You know, I try to watch it and it's hard for me to watch. But um, I always appreciate Jim Henson and his Muppet stuff. Okay, I finally found something for Adala. Uh, the yellow handkerchief 
handkerchief, hand, kerchief, handkerchief. Something you blow your snot into and then you put it back into your pocket, right? Something for a dollar ninety-five here, and I saw Kristen Stewart is here. I, I, you know, this sounds familiar. William Hurt, Maria Bello, Kristen Stewart, and then him. Eddie Rainman, the um, Ed, yeah, Eddie Rainman, the uh, the Danish girl, right? Kind of remember that. Yeah, he's like, I want to be a Danish girl too, and um, I love uh, K Stu, you know, uh, Spencer. I love that movie, and uh, great actress. Need her to come back and like do something. Her and, and Jennifer Lawrence, you know, are kind of my favorites. K Stu and J Law, I like them a lot. So I haven't seen this one though. The yellow handkerchief is it yellow because she blew snot into it? Hmm. Okay, I have been running into like a lot of Elvis stuff. So here's a double trouble Elvis. Let's see what's um in, included in here. Well, I don't know if it says. It says just the. Oh, the movie is called Double Trouble. I was I was thinking that um, uh, it was like a double feature. But speaking of favorite actresses, you know, I'm talking about J Law, K Stu, and then Emma Stone, which she's not even listed on here. But I know, um, yeah, Emma Stone. You know, in her early career, I love this movie, Birdman, Best Picture winner, right? 2010, along with Whiplash. You know, that was a really good year for movies. 2010. I always, uh, always really like this, and Emma Stone is in this, you know, uh, she's the daughter of Michael Keaton, and she's like, you know, she finally convinces him that, um, he, he's a has-been, you know, uh, yeah, good, good movie, I enjoyed that one, and I love Emma Stone, just watched, um, The Curse with Nathan Felder, I really enjoyed that, I mean, not really enjoyed, but I enjoyed it, more than Poor Things, Poor Things was, like, overrated, anyway, I'm seeing here Booty Call, and this was like, um, I haven't seen this, but um, this is on the Max, and I definitely want to uh, check it out. I remember this from back in the day, you know, the 90s, Booty Call, with Jamie Foxx and then Tommy Davidson. Did get a Fox is in this as well. You know, I remember these, you know, uh, 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 black cinema, 90s black cinema. They don't even make those type of movies anymore, you know. It, everything is like superhero. They don't even make movies for the brothers anymore. Not that I was a big Jamie Foxx fan, you know, this was around the time with the Jamie Foxx show, and that er, that thing he did, you know, that break, hand, er, whatever annoying thing he did, so, you know, he was always really popular, so I just, uh, and this was a popular movie too, I just never saw it, you know, it's just one of these uh, sexy movies, one night stand movies, two thumbs up, very funny, Cisco and Ebert, so you know it's official. Hey, I do see a Blu-ray, a deluxe edition of The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. And it, isn't this the one with Jet Li? Right. I remember the first one, of course, and then there's the second one, The Mummy Returns, and then I believe this is the third one. <sighs> Did they remake this? Not, I don't know. That Tom Cruise one, it's not a remake of this. It's, I don't know. I don't know. So many mummies. But here's the uh, third one. I do see another dollar thing up here. You know, the, the dollar. This is for the, the dollar. i seen this on Cartoon Network. Uh, Boing Boing Adventures. Boing Boing Adventures. Never heard of that. And, um, okay. I don't know what this is, but it's there's a few things for a dollar. Alice with uh, Tim Curry and this is grabbing my iTunes Looney Tunes I've been getting my Looney Tunes fix on Max for some reason been watching Woody Woodpecker on MeTV and then that led me to you know finally get into Looney Tunes on Max so that's really fun to watch all those classic episodes okay I do see the spectacular Spider-Man volume 1 going for $5 here so this looks old school but it says 2008 2009 so it can't be that old school but it does look cool now i for some reason underworld has been popping into my head i kind of have like a uh, free movie credits from sony rewards and i'm debating on buying underworld i just don't remember i remember it but i don't remember ever watching it kind of you know kind of just like these generic vampire werewolf there's four of these there's a for four, $13 the Underworld collection. Maybe for $3. That would be good. Now, I was talking about the, the craft.
Craft Legacy for $13, but I did find the Craft DVD Special Edition for $6. So that's half the price and better the movie. Absolutely. And this one comes with um, the audio commentary, right? Director's commentary. I might have this at home, but the, uh, the Blu-ray is fantastic. Not the Screen Factory Blu-ray, the uh, Sony Blu-ray. So this one is a good one to have because Sony, Columbia Pictures, Sony, they put out good quality uh, physical media. And this is a classic film. I love this movie, right? With uh, Farusa Balk, Nev Campbell, Rachel True, and uh, Robin Tunney. One of my favorites here. You know, she's so pathetic. Love, love this one. And uh, also, uh, one of my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm going to buy this. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should. But The Real Housewives of Orange County uh, for $1 here. And I think, no, that can't be Vicky. But, uh, yeah, isn't Vicky supposed to be in this? Because she's the OG of the OC. But none of these people I really recognize. It's like, is that Vicky? Is that Vicky? Can't really... Yeah, that, that is her, Vicky Gumbleson. It's Laguna Beach for grown-ups. I'll, I'll agree with you there. And then they brought in Tam Rat and Heather Dubrow. You know, the actress, Heather Dubrow. So for a dollar here, you know, I, I don't... Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, no, I don't think I'm going to buy this. But, um, you know, good, good find. Good find for all uh, those Real Housewives fans like myself out there. Okay, probably, you know, one of the most expensive things I found here, but it's sealed with a kiss. And it's one of these um, animes. What is this? Carnival. Okay, a Blu-ray DVD combo pack for $14.95. Justice has never been so twisted. So some of these animes are pretty cool, but I, I'm not an anime guy like that. And the ones I do like are usually generally regarded as the sucky ones. So there goes that. Okay, I did find uh, some classic titles like uh, The Abbott and Costello Meet the Mummy for uh, $3.95 there. And also, this was uh, pretty interesting to me, the, uh, the lather effect. So this is a big chill for uh, Generation X with a bunch of people that I never heard of. But it is going for a dollar. And also, here is... Um, Joker, no slip cover or anything, but it includes a bonus disc with special features going for eight dollars there. And this is probably the only thing that's for a dollar is these disc only DVDs, except the one right next to it is uh, for $4.95 for a season five of Weeds. But I was seeing um, down here two movie sale pack for a dollar wasn't sure what these movies here the home home of the brave there's also hollywood land with uh, ben affleck in the land of women and uh, so on and so forth okay i actually found some like pretty cool finds like uh, this it's almost like a steelbook this lipstick jungle season two i kind of remember this show right what's her name brooke shields yeah a uh, hair to sex in the city which means like a ripoff and um you know some also uh, some cheaper titles uh jobs with ashton kutcher for 2.99 and also nebraska from alexander payne for 4.95 um pretty rare title so you know for 4.95 not bad i wouldn't mind uh, watching this again and also one of the free free willy sequels with um bindi Irwin, escape from pirates cove some pretty cool like uh, slip covers but also these are you know a little bit priced but at least you come with a slip cover it comes with a slip cover and also this one is actually not bad the batman four film collection for eight dollars versus like one film for eight dollars so this is actually one of the better deals as far as these slip covers are concerned and the um dumb and dumber unrated which actually is the worst version of the movie right it, it ruins like the flow entirely so you definitely want that original dvd snapper new line cinema case with um them on the cover not no unrated no pg-13 please um now this would be cool if it came with a slip the matrix 4 film collection you know it's a little overpriced at, at ten dollars with no slip and it also it includes the animatrix you know but still not not a bad find and there you got um, It Man 3 for $5 and um, the Central Intelligence for $95. Oh, look, a Coen Brothers. No price on this one, though. I actually like this. And this is, oops, it's open. So you might be able to, uh, I don't know, there might be a sticky fingers in here. Let's see, let's see what happens. Oh, wow, there's actually a disc.
disc and it's open in a digital code. Look at that. Wow, crazy. But I'll leave it for some lucky guy. I actually have that with a slipcover at home and everything. Sherlock Holmes. Hangover 2 is another one. So, you know, kind of uh, weird what's going on here. Those are, you know, no, um, no, not wrapped. And here is, that's a good find, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King for $3.95. And then Dallas Buyers Club, you know, and I think Lord of the Rings is a better deal there. You know, classic best picture. Okay, and I also found that a three film collection, The Intern, Blended, and Tammy, going for uh, $5. So we are coming off the uh, Kansas City Chiefs wins for all you uh, Super Bowl fans out here. Here's the Super Bowl L.I. champions going for a dollar here. So, uh, yeah, uh, the, the franchise history, the New England Patriots are Super Bowl champions at Triumph for 2016 season going for a dollar here, okay? And I did si find some more dollar flops, such as uh, Middle of Nowhere. Now, this guy, I believe he passed away. You know, I think he was in um, Charlie Bartlett. Um, so I remember that movie, but here's one of these other movies, um, Middle of Nowhere, don't uh, recognize anyone else in there, but here is Struck by Lightning, now this looks familiar, I've, I've seen this, uh, poster here before, and here's Alice and Janney, Christina Hendricks, so, for, you know, another dollar flop in this interesting, uh, case here, now I was finding some interesting, some cool titles such as The Munsters, Scary Little Christmas, going for, uh, $4.95 here, and also just a kind of a cheaper title, not quite a dollar. $2.95 for the rewrite with Hugh Grant and Marissa Tomei. Now, I did find there, there's always usually one 4K, and here it's The Hurricane Heist from the director of The Fast and the Furious, Rob Cohen. So, whatever that is over here. But for at that 4K for $2.95, not bad. And then I was seeing this, the Tremors 7 movie collection. I mean, I don't even think I've seen the first one, and that's with Kevin Bacon. And yeah, since Reba McIntyre did do um, the national anthem, someone put out a, a tweet like, uh, you know, the, the star of Tremors just sung the national anthem. So, you know, I know this is like a, a cult classic. Seven movies, seven, you know, B movies going for nine ninety. There and then you know some more B movies such as Friend Re Request Evil is trending and uh, also the ultimate B movie I'll always know what you did last summer going for um two ninety five there you know some some classic B movies here the original classic Night of the Living Dead and the Devil Bat I haven't seen the Devil Bat that will go see I'll have to check that on you know uh, to the or what are they called again. The free copyright, public domain. I'll have to just watch that on one of those public domain sites. And we do see some weed in 3D. Your stone from the creator of the Puppet Master series, Charlie Band's Evil Bong 2, King Bong. So this kind of looks like a, a trauma, you know, one of these full moon uh, features going for $2.95 there. But also, this seemed to be a pretty good find here. Rob Lowe in Salem's Lot, based on the Stephen King novel for $2.95. Okay, but I don't know if this is the 80s. I don't think so. It can't be. This is the 90s um, Warner video. But, but, but this still, uh, Donald Sutherland, Rob Lowe, this is a good find. And also, um, this uh, two-film collection, okay, The Gallows and Hidden, Alexander Skarsgård. I remember The Gallows. I think I remember The Gallows. So, here's a two-film collection, $4.95. A little overpriced, but hefty, and you know, it's Freddy, so how can I just skip it? Including one of my favorites here, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. You know, it's missing probably my other favorite, which is part four, The Dream Master. I mean, how are you gonna get uh, these two uh, ones here? Actually, you know, I'm starting to really, The Dream Child I'm coming around with, um, you know, it has a very like gothic feel to it. And of course, Greta, the, you know, Bon Appetit bitch. Like, you know, you can't, you can't forget about that. And Freddy's Dead has, you know, now I'm playing with power, you know, and the, the Wicked Witch scene. So, you know, there, there's something to love in all of these. And of course, Freddy versus Jason is a good one. You know, a, a, a little silly, but you know, what do you expect from two slasher giants finally duking it out it's uh so you know what 
on coming around this is a great find here a little steep in price but you know hopefully you get a nice digital copy but if you don't you always um email and and reach out to the customer service and make sure you do get some sort of uh digital copy or some sort of reimbursement but here it is the nightmare on elm street four film favorite it, uh, wait a nightmare on elm street five through eight that's five, that's six, that's seven. That's not part eight. Well, I guess it is, right? Because that came out before the remake. All right, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Okay, another uh, anime title, but this is kind of like a, well, not a steel book, but a, a two-pack slipcover here from uh, Funimation Entertainment. You know, the good old days. I, I've definitely seen some Funimation titles. And, you know, be careful because... If, uh, the, the, once again, the overpriced DVDs here, uh, Marvel Studios going for $9.95. So you might as well get a Blu-ray. Uh, and, and these are previously viewed, so always watch out for that. I don't like previously viewed. If you guys don't mind, then you guys don't mind. That's fine by me. But for that price, you want brand new, not previously viewed. Okay, uh, yeah, this seemed to be a pretty good find. Cousin Bet. Or cousin Betty, cousin Bet, Jessica Lange, Jessica Lange, Elizabeth Shue, Bob Hoskins, uh, Savage Fun, Wickedly Comic, uh, going for three ninety five there. And I was seeing here uh, the Baxter, uh, Justin Thoreau, Michelle Williams, Elizabeth Banks, going for two ninety five. Okay, so you see here, a, 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 this looks a little previously be viewed and beat up, but it does say new. DVD $4.95, slipcover and digital code, and exclusive bonus features. So you always want to, you know, don't get too excited, but always look that it's going to say new, 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 and not previously viewed. Okay, another one of these, I guess, uh, animes, but going for $1.95 here. I don't know what this is. Volume 4 of Bay, Blade, Metal... Beyblade Metal, Metal Fusion. Okay, but we also got, what is this? Uh, John Ginty, American Show Plays Music. Probably one of these country or whatever that is. Going for 3 dollars Okay, I do see uh, Colin Farrell in, uh, in Winter's Tale. Going for 3 dollars Okay, not a bad find here. The Leave it to Beaver movie, which i never seen. You know, it didn't have the same effect as that Dennis the Menace movie. Now, that was a classic. Everyone saw that movie. But this movie, no. Now, I remember I loved the uh, classic television show from the 50s. You know, The Beeve. And what, what's his name? And and T and Jimmy Math and Timmy Mathers and Jerry Mathers as The Beaver. Okay, not a bad find here. Uh, the European Vacation, the sequel, you know, part two. I enjoy uh, part one, the classic vacation. You know, we are, we already got rid of Anthony Michael Hall and the other chick, Dana something, and uh, we brought in uh, these two. It does start in, oh, that's right, directed by Amy Heckerling, Clueless, Fast Times at Richmond High, and it starts out with the game show, with the Pigs game show. Yeah. You know, but I love Vegas Vacation, and then Christmas Vacation is like a, a cult classic. But the first one, of course, is a classic. But once again, new DVD, four ninety five. You know, yeah, not a bad find. Okay, kind of a cool find here—a double feature DVD, Unfaithful with uh, Diane Lane and Leaving Las Vegas with Nick Cage. Now I am seeing Diane Lane in this show, Swans, the uh, the feud, Swans versus Truman Capote watching that so that's kind of fun you know that's directed by Gus Van Sant I, I remember my friend used to be obsessed with this movie she was like oh my god unfaithful unfaithful so definitely chicks love this movie unfaithful and then you know uh, the ultimate alcoholic synonymous movie uh, leaving Las Vegas I mean just seeing the opening credits alone is enough to make you like stop drinking or vomit or something so but definitely a classic uh, film right here so you got two good ones for 4 dollars Okay, kind of a newer title here, and once again, previously viewed, I would settle for $2.95. Previously viewed, but you know, I guess they gotta, you know, buy it inflation, gotta make a little bit of money. Uh, and Amy Adams, yes, you know, and Jeremy Renner, and Forrest Whitaker. I've never seen this movie, but I heard, isn't this Denny Villeneuve? So, uh, you know, he's a 
good uh, visionary director. Do Doom, director of Doom. Oh, isn't he precious? And here's One Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah, One Christmas Eve with Anne Hage. Kind of a, a, a steep price here, but how could you say no to those puppy dog eyes? You know, and, and Anne Hage. May she rest in peace. And, you know, just speaking of Gus Van Sant, they, they were my favorite guilty pleasure. Psycho. You know, can't, can't forget about that one. Okay, but look what the price difference. You know, Weed Season 4 Disc 1 for a dollar. And then you got Weed Season 5 Disc 1 for four ninety five. So, big price difference there. But some more cool titles I found here. Uh, this Kevin Durant uh, movie. What is this? Thunderstruck going for $3.95 there. So, you know, one of these, like, rookie of the year type of things for basketball. And then we got, um, you know, Green Lantern Extended Cut. But I think this is the sucky one. No, this is not. I don't know. Which one did I like? Oh, yeah, The Incredible Hulk. Yeah, they're all the same thing to me. But here you got a new DVD. No, but it's a Blu-ray. Uh, four ninety five, dollars Insta watch, digital code. So, yeah, not that bad. And then, um, you know, we were just talking about Jessica Lange. And then, you know, Jessica Lange. 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 For $6.95 in this Hallmark movie here. Oh, Pioneers. And then right behind it is, um, you know, my friend Flicka. For uh, $1.95. And then we got one of these uh, uh, flops here. Russell Crowe flops. The Water Diviner. I guess he needed a paycheck. Okay, so I found some more titles actually for a dollar, and this is a uh, here we go from the director of Days and Confused, my favorite movie, Richard Linklater, uh, dollar ninety five for Bernie. Haven't seen this movie here, Matthew McConaughey, Jack Black, Shirley MacLaine, and also uh, another classic nineties classic here, Four Weddings and a Funeral, for a dollar ninety five, the British classic with Andy McDowell and Hugh Grant, and uh, Rowan Atkinson is in this too. I don't, is that him? I don't know, but I know Mr. Bean is in there. There he is. He goes, the father, the son, and the holy spigot. So I was going to say, this is kind of a pretty good find, but it's just too bad that it includes uh, the sequel to uh, Deuce Bigelow and not the original. I've been kind of trying to find that one. That's one that I haven't seen, and I need to uh, watch that. And, of course, I can't find it anywhere. So, but other than that, you know, six movies, eight dollars. Here it is. Okay, kind of a decent find here is Her, the Spike Jones movie. Didn't really enjoy it that much, but, you know, fairly new movie, fairly decent price. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this edition of the Dollar Tree DVD Blu-ray window shopping video. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and tap that notification bell so you get updated every time I release a new video. And drop a comment down below. Let me know what you found at your Dollar General. And I'll see you next time.